Hi everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles. My name's Imogen, and in today's video I am explaining how I returned to a job I loved with more hours. All right, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and let's get started. All right, when I was 19, I finished my A-levels, and I had like an entire summer to myself, which, to be clear, a summer was like May until October, so a long ass summer. Um, I had an entire summer to myself, and this is probably the longest, one of the longest periods of time I've ever had off in my entire life. And I knew that I wanted to get a job. So I got this receptionist job at a Cambridge software company, and it was great. It was, I mean, I was literally a teenager when they hired me, so um, it was really nice of them to sort of put that faith in the fact that I could, like, learn, but um, they liked me. And so I did that job. I was part-time. I worked mornings, like, 8.30 to 12.30 or something, um, like, all, for all of that summer, so, like, four months, um, four-ish. Um, and then I went to university, and it was great. And then the next summer, I was, again, in the position of having a very long summer holiday, and I was, again, looking for a job. And I wanted to go back to this job, so what I did was I basically sent them an email and I said, yo, are you looking for a temporary summer receptionist? Can I come back? And can I be full time? And they emailed back and they were like, oh my gosh, yes, you have emailed at precisely the right time. We are exactly looking for someone right now. Plus you're already trained because you worked here last summer. Come back. And that, guys, is the story of how I returned to a job I loved with more hours. Right, you can all go home because this is the end of the video. I'm kidding. There was a bit more to it than that, but like... That's the gist of it. The, basically, the gist is, get the job, be good at the job, they will like you and want to have you back. I mean, if you want, you can stop watching this video right now, but if you want some more detail, strap in, because here we go. So, I think the first thing that really helped was, I was, like, desperate to be good at this job. Like, I put everything into being good at this job, and... I just, I was like, I was lovely to all of my co-workers, um, I always, always showed up on time, I never missed work, um, I would always like, you know, I'd always be super helpful and if I didn't know how to do something I would immediately ask for help, like I was not afraid to admit that I still needed to learn and I think they really liked that. Um, I was also like, actively growing in my responsibilities so I would do things that would help me develop in the role, so I'd actively like, I'd look for ways to make my workflows more efficient, and I even wrote like a handbook for my successor as to everything you need to know in the role, which they found like super helpful. Anyway, my point is that I put a lot of effort into this job, and that's why they knew that like, they could trust me, and that I was like trained to do exactly what they need me to do. So basically I just turned myself into being a super reliable, dependable like member of the team, and that really helped when I reached out again. So I think it's about like updating your skills. So you've got to be like good at what they want you to do and receiving feedback. You've got to be good at receiving feedback and acting on it. And you need to basically make yourself into sort of the ideal person for this job. And they knew that I was because I'd done it before. So making a really good first impression was kind of key to me getting the job again. Um, obviously I was like flexible with my start date a little bit um, and since they needed me like quickly that was really good because I could just go in and I could start and then I think obviously once you've like got the job initially so I applied to a lot of jobs when I left school um, when you've got the job initially and then you've made a good first impression you've developed your skills you've like shown that you can do it, you've like built up trust with the team as well because they sort of, they liked me and they trusted me and they knew that I would, they could come to me and I would like put through their call or I'd take their post and that kind of thing and like obviously yeah it's an admin job like I'm not the CEO of anything but I think the fact that they knew that I was friendly and that I was dependable it often, it meant a lot in the team um, and I once had one of my colleagues say to you, say to me you know like you're quite a friendly and helpful receptionist as receptionists go, because sometimes they're like snappy or not helpful. Um, but that was a really nice thing to hear because I was genuinely trying my absolute best in that job and getting that affirmation really helped. So the final thing I just want to say is I reached out. Like, 
if I hadn't reached out again, it was one same single email to my supervisor that I'd had before and I still had her email address and I just sent it to her and I said, look, I'm looking for another job again. Um, I would love to come back if you guys can offer me full time hours because I basically, I said I really need the money. Um, I didn't say that, but like I said, I'm looking for a full time job. Um, and they said, yeah, absolutely. We're looking for a full time receptionist. So part of it, I will completely admit was just luck that they needed exactly what I was offering at that time. And I also needed exactly what they were offering. But also I'd really laid the groundwork for it by being a good employee, learning, um, showing that I was dependable and showing that I'd like always show up on time and I'd be friendly and also going above and beyond a bit in that role. So basically apply to lots of jobs. When you find one, make a good first impression, develop your skills, go a little bit above and beyond. Like if it's a team you really like, make an effort to develop positive working dynamics on that team. It will stand you in good stead later on. And then like, be friendly, be polite. You know, I reached out. I wasn't necessarily expecting them to hire me again. And I was like pursuing other job applications as well because I wasn't like, I wasn't counting on them to hire me. But as soon as they emailed me back and said, yeah, we want to hire you, I was like, great. And I just dumped all of my other job applications because this was a job that it was like familiar to me and I knew I could do. So yeah. Basically find something that fits, um, make sure you get good at it, um, and then people will like you and want to hire you again and pay you more money. Um, okay, that's it for this video. If you are not already subscribed, I don't know why my brain lagged there. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to this channel, um, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, and that's it from me. All right, bye.